Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's do an example of how we can use the Dirac Delta function in the evaluation of this particular integral. Going back, of course, to the definition where a function in 3D space multiplied times the Dirac Delta function in three dimensions, then integrated over all of space, that must equal the function evaluated at zero. So here we've given this integral. We have a function of r squared plus two, and that's multiplied times the divergence of one over r squared in the r direction dv. Now we have to remember, by definition, we can replace this by the Dirac Delta function in three dimensions. So this can be replaced by the integral over all space of the function r squared plus 2 multiplied times the Dirac Delta function in three dimensions. Now, because of this, we also need to have a 4 pi factor in there. So multiply times 4 pi times the Dirac Delta function in three dimensions in the r direction times dv. So what we've done is we replaced this quantity right here in the integral by what the equivalent is by definition. That's by definition. The, the divergence of 1 over r squared in the r direction can be replaced by 4 pi times the Dirac delta function in three dimensions. Now, anything that's a constant come outside the integral sign. 4 pi is a constant which can come out. So this is equal to 4 pi times the integral over all of space times the function r squared plus 2 multiply times the Dirac delta function in three dimensions times dv. And now we go back to our definition that we have up here. This looks exactly the same as this, which means we now can set this whole thing equal to the function evaluated at zero. In other words, when the radial direction r is equal to zero. So that means that this is equal to 4 pi times 0 squared plus 2 and of course, that's equal to 4 pi times 2, which is equal to 8 pi. And even though this is a very simple example that really doesn't have much meaning, so to speak, but it does have an important function in that we can see how, whenever we see this, we can replace it by the equivalent in form of the Dirac delta function in three dimensions, which then makes it easier to evaluate the integral. And that is how it's done.